Hi, welcome to Postcard 96. It's really good to have you with us. It's a lovely day, isn't it? It's a beautiful day here in Allness, and we're going to start with a video that was sent in by Karen. What is it, Jane? She's a dancing Billy. It's a dance video. I rock a mic like a vandal, light up stage and whack the chump like a candle. Oh, I'm killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom, deadly. When I play dope melody, anything less than the best is in the belly. Love it or leave it, you better game right. You better hit me back if you can't go play. And if there's a problem, yep, I'll solve it. Check out the hook on my DJ. That was really good. It's good to see Karen so busy and keeping fit. Yeah. Now, thanks, Karen. We've got Fraser who sent in a photo of his pancakes. He's been making pancakes too with Debbie. Yeah, and he's been making brownies. Oh, can't wait to see them. Let's go to Fraser's bakery. Billy's been busy in the kitchen and he's been doing artwork this time and our theme today is birds so let's have a look at the parrots that Billy's made. Hi everybody and welcome back to Billy's Kitchen. Are we going to be cooking today? No we're not. We're in Billy's Kitchen and today it's Billy's art studio. Now we're going to do some birds today. Remember we did some cats before, well today we're doing some birds and then we'd better not let the cats after the birds because that might cause some mayhem. We're just going to do some birds, we're going to do some parrots. Now we're going to be using some uh, very, very intricate uh, uh, equipment, our fingers. Our fingers. We're going to use some fingers to do the basic parrot shapes. Now we're going to do some basic parrot shapes and then we're going to leave it to dry and then we're going to come back to it in a wee while. But let's get on with the parrot shapes. Well, the great thing about parrots are very colourful. So what colour is our first parrot going to be? Red. Stick my finger in the red. Now first thing to do is make a blob that is round. There you go. That's the head. Now we're going to make a blob that is kind of oval. Now we want quite a bit of paint on that. So. There you go, an oval blob. There, that's pretty straightforward. Now we're going to make a bit for the tail. There we go, that's our first parrot. Let's do, will we do another red parrot, Jane? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's make it a bigger parrot. Bigger head? Bigger body. Well, this seems quite a fat one, doesn't it? It certainly does. That's okay. There. Now, we might do one more red parrot over here, Jane. Little red parrot here. There's a little head, a little round head. 
This parrot's going to maybe be sitting sideways. And the red tail. Now, let's do some other colour parrots, Jane. What would colour parrots would be like now? Let's do some blue ones. Now, I'm not going to be too worried about cleaning my finger because parrots are very colourful and if there's a wee bit of red in with the, the blue, that doesn't bother me too much. There's the head and the body and the tail. We'll do a wee partner for this one, I think, Jane. Okay. The head. The body. And the tail. Now, I would quite like to do some green ones now, Jane. Some green ones? Yep. Yes, good idea. Right. We'll do a little green one here. Little head. Little body. Little tail. Do one here. Little head. This one's a bit bigger actually. Are they all parrots? They're all parrots or parrot like birds, Jane. Now there we go, there's the body. This one's quite big too. And there's the tail. Now you think these don't really look like parrots yet. Do you think they do, Jim? Not at the moment. I'm on, I think I'll do one more green one. Maybe flying here. There's the head. We'll have this one maybe flying, Jane. Okay. There's the body. And the wings. Oh well, we'll do a tail first. Okay. Tail. And maybe the wings coming out this way. Now there we've got some basic parrots. Now at this point I'm going to wash my finger because I don't... Well, wait a wee minute Jane. Would we like any different colours in each one? Would look nice. Are you ready or will it... Smudge the colours together. Well, I don't know, Jane. I think we'll leave that to dry at the moment, Jane. Okay. Is that okay? Now, but, but first, before I leave it to dry, I'm going to put some uh, some white on their face. But I, instead of cleaning my finger, I'll use a different finger. I'm going to use my little finger. And that'll save me washing. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of white on each face. Seem to be white about the eyes. Yeah, let's put a little bit of white on each face. Right, that's good. Now we're going to come back and put some detail in later on, Jane. Now, we'll to leave that to dry. we're going to leave that to dry and we'll come back later. Okay, so we're back. All our parrots have dried. You might be thinking, I don't think they look much like parrots yet, but hopefully they're going to look like parrots. We're just going to give them all some eyes. See how they've got little eyes? Depends on the size of the parrots. Some have big eyes, some have little eyes. Some are big, some have little, but they all have eyes. And to do the eye, we're going to do one circle and then a circle outside it. Kind of like a bull's eye. Although, and although I'm saying this is a bull's eye, it's not a bull, it's a parrot. There you go, we've got eyes. So that's good. Now what else are they going to need, Jane? They're going to need feet. 
Right, I think I'll start with this one here. We'll give it some feet. How many feet do you think we should give it, Jane? Two feet. Two feet. They're looking more like parrots now. Yeah, and colour these in black. There we go, there's parrot number one with the feet. What about the beak, Billy? Well, well, we could do the beak, but just let us do the feet first, Jane. One thing at a time, because they've all got to have feet, don't they? Yes. They do. Now, the beaks are all going to be black. That one's got a nice beak, hasn't it? Now this one is a real, got a real hook to it. So what do you think of that, Jane? He's got a big beak. He's got a big, big beak, big hasn't parrot. he? He's a big parrot. We'll colour his beak in black. Now, you don't want them all to be the one colour, because we want parrots to look kind of nice. They've got feathers. Mm -hmm. tail's sticking out, the wing feathers are sticking out too. See, this is actually going on better onto the... Onto the paint, yeah. There we go. Now we'll do some other colours with the thing. I think we could do a wee bit red on this one, just a wee bit red there. Back to using your finger again. Back to using my finger. Here's the one that's flying in the air. Good, it makes it look like it's flying. There's the one that's flying in the air. We could put this one sitting on a little cage. Let's do a little cage. In fact, this cage could be. behind that one. What do you think of that, Jane? That's good. At least he's outside for the day. Mm -hmm. He's not stuck in. He's not on lockdown. the cage behind there for that parrot sitting on. Now said so this one was on the perch, the big one. What about we have this one on a on a cage Jane? You think? Now we could have this cage kinda like that. There's one on a cage there. Because of this one sitting in one. I think I like that part the best.
There we have some. Now, I think we're nearly finished, Jane. We'll give a few wee perches to these uh, birds to sit on. The bird at the top needs something. The bird at the top. What does the bird at the top need, Jane? He's standing on something. I think he needs to be perched to, mm -hmm. to stand on too. There we go. Now, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. Billy's Parrots. Today's activity comes from Usborne Activities book 365 Things to Draw and Paint. Now Jane said that today's theme was birds. Now we would like people to send in photographs of birds, videos of birds, because it's coming into that time of the year, the spring, where you can hear the birds in the morning chirping, waking, hear the seagulls waking today. you up. You might be able to hear the birds just now. now Somebody sent us in a photograph of a bird they took. Now this bird was taken in the wild, uh, and it's a parrot. It's a wild parrot. This was taken in. This photograph was taken in London. And so have a look at it. We're also going to let you see the little video that Jane took of a bird singing sweetly in all nice. Okay, it's time for a song now, and let's do a song about birds. Chirpy chirpy cheep cheep. Chirpy chirpy cheep cheep. Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Little baby dog. Little baby dog. Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Far, far away Where's your papa gone? Where's your papa gone? Little baby dog Little baby dog Where's your papa gone? Where's your papa gone? Far, far away Far, far away Last night I heard my mama singing a song ooh Chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep, woke up this morning and my mama was gone. Ooh, wee. Chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep, chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep, chirp. Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Little baby dog. Little baby dog. Where's your mama gone? Where's your mama gone? Far, far away. Papa gone. Where's your papa gone? Little baby gone. Little baby gone. Where's your papa gone? Where's your papa gone? Far, far away. Far, far away. Last night I heard my mama sing a song. Ooh, we 
chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep. Woke up this morning and my mama was gone. Lee, chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep, chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep, chirp. Last night I heard my mama singing a song. Woke up this morning and my mama was gone. Ooh-wee. Chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep. Chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep, chirp. Last night I heard my mama singing a song. Ooh-wee. Chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep. Woke up this morning and my mama was gone. Chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep, chirp Last night I heard my mama singing a song Ooh-wee-wee Chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep Woke up this morning and my mama was gone Ooh-wee-wee Chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep Chirpy, chirpy, cheep, cheep, chirp Thank <laughs> you.